hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome I am a part-time reseller I do videos about reselling primarily what sold videos and a few sourcing videos of me out picking up items this video is going to be a compilation of items that sold for over $50 on eBay within the last two months I do have another video that I already put out on items that sold over $100. So this will be items that sold for $50, $100. So let's take a look. All right, so you guys like the video with items over $100. So I'm going to do one for over 50 and then after this month we will do $50 and up because I should have room if it's only one month at a time. This is three months. So first up is some antique Wedgwood bowls. I picked these up. I didn't realize they were worth as much as they were. I sold two of them for $35.98 plus shipping the buyers $50 and 27 cents all in and they're very simple bowls not at all something I would have thought but I knew the name Wedgwood so I picked them up next these are some Kaplan learning puppets so learning items for children can be really hot so when you're out keep an eye out for puppets or learning items this is a lot of six I paid a dollar each so six dollars they sold for $47.99 free shipping buyer with $51 all in. Up next, these are some FootJoy sandals. FootJoy is a great brand, both men's and women's of golf shoes. Paid less than a dollar for these. They sold for $40 plus shipping in less than a week, $51.67 all in for the buyer. So a great $35 profit on those. Up next, this is a purple vintage glass pitcher. And this one sold for $42 plus shipping. The buyers at $51.70 all in on this. So a lot of vintage glass, especially with this mid-century modern look, can sell super well. This one did take about two months, so they might not be the fastest movers, but they're good profit. Up next, these long bill hats, keep an eye out for them. I have only ran into two ever. This one sold for $47.99, free shipping, and the buyer was $51.83. And with tax, they have like a way longer bill than a typical hat. They are used for fishing. I paid $2 for this and made over a $40 profit. Next, this is a awesome little seahorse carved statue. Got it for a couple of bucks in a bathroom lot at an online estate auction. You might find these at thrift store, at garage sales. These can be found anywhere. So this one sold for $42 plus shipping. The buyer is $51.90 all in. This is 15 inches high and it fit almost perfect in a USPS free shoe box. Up next are some vintage Playboy jeans. I paid a quarter for these guys at a garage sale. They just look different. I saw red stitching. I saw Playboy picked them up. They sold for $40 plus shipping. The buyers $52.39 all in. So about a $35 profit on that. Next, this was a gorgeous perfume bottle. Never could find comps. I just priced it a little bit high. I only had a couple bucks in, but it sold for $35 plus shipping. The buyer was $52 and 44 cents all in on this little glass bottle. If glass bottles are colorful, this was hand painted. Keep an eye out for unique things because they sell. Next, this is some makeup. RV Renew. I always check closed health and beauty items. Even if they weren't originally expensive, they might be discontinued. This one I believe was originally expensive as well. I paid less than a dollar at an estate sale, sold for $47.99, plus shipping the buyer was $52.59 all in. Again, over $35 profit on that. And then 
Up next, this was another pickup from the same estate sale as the makeup. This is a Stearns Drywear XXL camo jacket. So hunting jackets sell very well and I run into them quite frequently here in North Florida. It depends on your area, but I would say if you're in a rural area, you really have a good chance of finding hunting gear. So I paid less than a dollar. This one sold for $37.45 plus shipping. The buyer is $53.63 all in again, over a $35 profit. Up next is a vintage baby blanket. So this is a vintage Winnie the Pooh blanket. I did find this at the thrift store for $3.99. It sold for $40 plus shipping. The buyer was $53.70 all in took less than two months for it to sell. So vintage baby blankets can even go higher than this, but they do good. Up next, some poop. <laughs> this was Mr. Hinky Poo from South Park. And this one I got in a state sale for a dollar and sold in less than a week for $44 plus shipping. The buyer was $53.84 all in. So you might notice with some of these higher priced items, they're light and I charge priority and I ship priority because I want the added insurance and that purchase for protection. If the item is lost or damaged, it is included free. If you're printing your shipping from eBay, it's up to a hundred dollars. So if it's a higher priced item, even if it's light, I go ahead and ship it priority. Up next, this is a vintage Tommy Bahama sweatshirt. It had some defects, but I paid a couple bucks for this. It sold for $39 plus shipping. Buyer is $53.90 all in on that. And then we have some Harley Davidson women's chaps. These actually had some black spots from being in storage. I did disclose that if they had not had these defects, they would have been worth over $200. But with the defects, they still sold for $40 plus shipping. Buyer is $54.09 all in. Harley stuff, leather, good price, pick it up. Next, these are some Mac tools. And these I got in a big lot. I bought a toolbox full of tools. Snap-on Mac and Craftsman, especially vintage, can be great money. These sold for $50 plus shipping, buyers $54 all in. And it's just the little wrench heads. I don't know much about tools, guys, but I can look up numbers from the tools to comp them out. Next, this is a Jamie Sadik golf shirt. Jamie Sadik is a great brand to look out for. Very loud, kind of boisterous patterns. I paid less than a dollar for this in a golf lot of clothes. And it sold for $50 plus shipping buyers $54.75 all in. Next, some vintage federal glass, vintage antique glass in the box. Great pickup. I've said it before, less than $5 in. This one sold for $25 plus shipping buyers $54.94 all in. You will notice with some of these heavier items, shipping is expensive. And that's why I do calculated shipping on my heavier items. Next, this is a vintage thermos. I got this in a USPS lot from an online estate auction. This one sold for $45 plus shipping in less than a day. Buyers $56 all in and I made over a $40 profit on that. Next, a pair of Vionic suede mules. I did get these off of a QVC palette, but you might find them while you're out at thrift stores, garage sales. Vionic is a great shoe brand that has a good resale value. And these, I made about a $45 profit. Next, this is some Nora Taki Pacific Majesty. Always look up your patterns and make sure they're a good selling one. These sold for $35 plus shipping buyer was $57. All in these did go international. I, if it's a higher price item, I use global shipping program. If it's not, and these were under $50, I use standard international shipping. Next, we have a jacket. So some of these clothes items, clothing items can be good pickups. You just gotta kind of get an eye for that vintage, some of the brands. This is a Black Mountain reversible jacket. This was like a thick Sherpa plush. It had horses running on it. I got this from my friend Pepper for free and it sold for $40 plus shipping. The buyer was $58.21 all in on that. 
up next this is a native american hopi print this was in an ephemera lot beautiful drawing i actually just found some more that aren't matted so i'm hoping i can get good price for those this one less than a dollar in it sold for 45 dollars plus shipping the buyers 58.88 all in and simple piece of paper next is a vintage jeanette glass this is some more vintage glass in the box beautiful orange carnival glass i paid about five dollars sold for 38.49 plus shipping the buyer is 58 dollars and 89 cents all in up next here are some shoes so a lot of shoes can be worth money as well these shoes are merrill's and i got these in a lot i paid less than a dollar for these merrill's are, are something you'll see out at thrift stores garage sales and these sold for $45 plus shipping. The buyer was $59.28 all in on those. We have another shirt. This one is Hilo Hattie. Vintage Hawaiian shirts can sell for good money, so keep your eye out for those. This one sold for $56.99 free shipping, and I paid it about $8 for this, so it'll be over a $40 profit. Up next, this is a lucky brand of bedding. A lot of bedding can sell for high prices as well. This one I got in a QVC palette, but I have picked some bedding up from garage sales and thrift stores as well. This one sold for $47.99 plus shipping, buyers $61.59 all in. This one did take about six months to sell, so it took a little bit longer. Up next, this is a plush. You guys keep an eye out. Like if you see my little one sitting here, those sell for over $50 a lot of times too. That's a little Chantilly Lane Bear. And you'll probably see one coming up here in a minute. But this is a Kelly Toy Giant Lion Plush. I paid $3.99 at the thrift store. Sold for $59.99. Those I just stuff into big polys and hopefully they'll fit in less than an 18 by 18 poly. You can use pirate ship for cubic shipping and they ship pretty cheap. Up next is some vintage Linux Holly. These are coffee mugs. They sold four of them for $38 plus shipping. The buyer was $64.56 all in. I picked these up at the flea market for a dollar each. So great profit on those. Up next is some vintage corning wear. This is a lot of five. If they're lower priced, I will lot up some glass items. I tend to like to sell them for individual. So this one sold the set of five for $35.99 plus shipping the buyer $65 and at 19 cents all in. And next, and another eBay buyer messaged me, told me I was not gonna get what I wanted for this. They were offering me a lot less. I got what I wanted less than a week left. West, la, 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 la. I got what I wanted less than a week later. This is a Bonanza TV show Ponderosa plate collector's plates most of the time are complete bomb this one was good it sold for $43.99 plus shipping the buyer was $65.99 all in and I had less than two dollars into that plate next some Budweiser signs this is a lot of five I got lucky this was local pickup these sold for $62 there was no shipping because the buyer picked up up next this is a teacup and i love finding expensive teacups this one is ansley the pattern was garden gate ansley is a great brand of teacup to pick up you'll see the all over pattern on both the saucer and the cup and that's something you want to watch out for that i see a lot on the higher priced ones this one i paid two dollars it sold for 45 dollars plus shipping the buyer is 67 dollars all in and that one sold in less than a month and then we have another lucky brand comforter this one sold for 45 plus shipping buyer 67.30 all in up next and i paid two dollars for this at a local thrift store this is a dan marino dolphin statue it had some flaws if it didn't it would have sold for over 100 but even with the flaws it sold for 53 dollars plus shipping the buyer was $87 all in, or sorry, buyer was $67 all in, and I made almost $50 profit on that little statue. So the little statues and figurines, always look them up, especially if they 
look expensive. Once you get a handle on what sells good and you comp some items, you will be able to spot them a lot easier. Up next are some bibs. These are like fishing overalls. I got these at a local Goodwill for $6.99. They sold in less than a month for $48 plus shipping. The buyer was $72.92 all in. Again, you learn what looks better made and this was new with tags. I always check new with tag items if I don't know the brand at the thrift store and this one it paid off. Next, this was a lot of 19 vintage scarves. They were not worth listing individually, which to me means they weren't worth listing over $10 a piece. So this was a lot of 19. It sold for $59.99 plus shipping. The buyer was $73 all in. I was only a few dollars into that, so that's over a $50 profit. Up next, this is a really awesome vintage Mayan folk art figurine again with the figurines with these higher dollars this one sold for $60 plus shipping the buyer was 73 all in I paid $12 for him he's super cool I just picked up another little really cool figurine yesterday so hopefully you'll see that on the next one next uh JC Penny Queen quilt again bedding this one was used not new I paid less than a dollar and a lot of linen they want to bought the whole linen closet this one sold for 42 plus shipping the buyer's 73.84 all in up next another of the native american pencil drawings this one again the picture's like this small but it was on a sheet of paper this one sold for 60 dollars plus shipping the buyer was 72 all in the same buyer did buy the one you saw earlier and this one but over a 50 dollar profit on a piece of paper up next and this is one of my favorite things to pick up it is stoneware pottery this is a blue salt glaze crock paid five dollars for this it sold for 59.99 plus shipping buyer 76 dollars all in it was only about yay big over 50 dollar profit pottery can be extremely good this one was branded so a lot of times they'll have the stamp on them and you can look them up up Next is a Windsor Ware English Garden. This is a scallop bowl. They bought four of them. I paid, I think, 50 cents for these at a thrift store. They sold for $47.96 plus shipping. Buyer was $77 all in. Again, with your china and dishware, if it looks neat, look it up. Up next, this is an Allen crossbow cucker. I got this at my little local thrift store for $9.99. It sold in less than a week for $65 plus shipping buyer with $75 all in. Up next, and this is really cool. Keep an eye out for these vintage Fisher Price colorful toys. This was a tape player with a microphone, kind of a little karaoke setup. Paid less than five dollars for this at a church thrift store it sold for 59.99 plus shipping the buyer was 79 dollars all in up next are some jeans um you gotta check stuff guys so these were true religion jeans i paid less than a dollar i actually paid 25 cents the clothes were four for a dollar and these sold for 59.99 plus international shipping over a 50 dollar profit on those Next, this is another China item. This is a Fitz and Floyd tray. A lot of the bigger serving trays, bowls are going to be your more expensive items. I paid less than $2 for this. It sold for $45 plus shipping. The buyer was $85.95 all in on that. Up next, and I would not pick this up again. This is a Tiffany style lamp. I only paid like five bucks, but this was really like almost two foot. It was very big, very cumbersome to pack and not enough profit. Sold for $45 though, and the buyer did pay shipping. They were $83 all in, so $35 profit. But that was a pain in the butt and a lot of peanuts to pack. Up next, and this one sold really fast. This is a Department 56 Lego building for a Christmas village. I paid $5 approximately and a lot of Christmas stuff. It sold for $59.99 
plus shipping. Buyer was $83.99 all in on that. Next, some more clothes. And it's funny because I really don't like clothes a lot, but when I see these higher pieces, I pick them up. This is White House Black Market. It was a skirt and shirt. Both are leather and outfit. It was new with the tags. I paid $6. It sold for $75 plus shipping. The buyer's $83.70 all in, so over a $60 profit on that. Up next, a Tommy Bahama vintage embroidered shirt. This does have a woman in a martini glass, so when you see the ones with cool prints and graphics, definitely pick them up. This one sold for $80 free shipping, and I made over $60 profit on that. Next, and this is a vintage pair of brass vases. I always watch out for brass stuff because a lot of it sells really high. So if you see brass items and they're cheap, I would go ahead and pick them up. A lot of times you can't find exact comps, but you can find similar items. These sold for $60 plus shipping. The buyer was $85 all in, and less than $10 in. So this is over a $50 profit. Next, this is the Capoli collection. This is a pair of eagles, another statue or figurine on a base. And it did have it written, so comping was pretty easy. I paid less than a dollar for this at an estate sale. It sold for $60 plus shipping. The buyer was $86.15. All in on that. Next, this is a Lamax carousel. This was from 2004. I did test it. It worked. It was new in the box. I paid less than $5. It sold for $65 plus shipping. Buyer was over $80 all in on that. Up next, another item I paid less than a dollar. This is a beautiful jewelry box. It is made from Italy. That is a great tip for you guys. If you see items that are made in Italy or France, they typically sell pretty high. This one, the music part did not work, but it still sold for $70 plus shipping. The buyer was $87 all in on that. Up next is a toy. So you will see there is super variety here. Ton of different items to bring in all these high dollar sales. So this vintage Tyco Real Talk and Baba, I paid $3.99 for it at Goodwill. It sold for $65.99 plus shipping. The buyer was $87.99 all in on those. Next is a pair of Belleville like army boots. These I did pay up. I paid $10, but they sold for $38 plus shipping. The buyer was $51.95 all in on those. Next, something I didn't think would sell for this much, but I always caught. This is some sandpaper and this one sold for $95.96 for four of them. Free shipping, but I was only a couple of dollars in each. So if you're at garage sales and see a bunch of sandpaper or accessories, definitely look them up. Up next, this is a necklace paid less than a dollar in a state sale. Check your items, guys. If they have little jewelry boxes, look through them. This one was marked 14 karat. It also was marked um, MA, which I did some research, was marked Anthony. I paid a dollar. It sold for $75 plus shipping. Buyer was $88.50 all in. And I made over a $70 profit on that. Up next, Franciscan Apple is something you should keep an eye out for. This is California Pottery. And it sold for $75 plus shipping. The buyer was $94.84 all in. I paid about $5 for this. I bought the whole set from a thrift store. Up next, I told you you'd see one of those Chantilly Lane bears. This one saying Santa Baby. I was less than $5 in. It sold for $77.99 plus shipping. The buyer was $95.13 all in. And our last item, this is another brass piece. This is a large 10 inch and I did title it Regency and Mid-Century Modern. So 10 inches sold for $62 plus shipping. The buyer was $98.98 all in. I only paid a couple of bucks and made over a $50 profit on that. And that ends our $50 and up items. Let me know if you guys like this and I will plan on doing a $50 and up, including the items over $100 for next month and every month subsequently. I appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.
Yeah, I'm not going to do that.